So hey guys, here's a quick update video on my Lauf suspension fork, essentially the world's lightest suspension fork. So I've got it on the Salsa Fargo here now. Uh, it's not a perfect color match, but it uh, doesn't look too bad. Um, the only other thing that had to happen is we had to put a larger rotor uh, on it. So we went from a 160, I think, up to a 180 rotor. Uh, so it looks pretty cool. It's a space age looking fork. Uh, I've only done one ride on it. I went out for an hour on it. Um, I mean, we're into the real early spring here, so the weather's kind of yo-yoing around. We got a couple dumps of snow last week. Uh, it was warmer the week before that, and now it's cooled off again. So the temperature is hovering around freezing, even below freezing some days. So when conditions are like that, I just prefer to ride a slower bike. So I've been riding my, uh, surly nard and i mean what i bought this bike for is exploring the gravel roads that we have around here and right now the majority of them once you get 20 30 minutes outside of town uh they're still either snow or they're they're ice ice covered so it'll be another couple weeks before those roads clear up uh, as long as you don't get another couple dumps of snow which is entirely possible around these parts um, but it is supposed to warm up uh start warming up over the next couple of days actually so first ride impressions, it pretty much rides as I suspected. So it's very active on small, medium sized hits, which is what I bought it for. I want it to absorb the, the washboard, the stutter bumps, the potholes that motor vehicles create on, on gravel roads, uh, especially up, uphill, downhill. Um, so it works beautifully for that from my one hour ride. Uh, you know, you purposely trying to run through potholes and go over things. Uh, the fork works great for that. So over the span of doing a longer ride, uh, it's gonna save your body from uh, a lot of uh, the impacts and take, take the abuse instead of you. Uh, but then I will say that because it is a very simple design in terms of lacking any sort of uh, mechanical or hydraulic uh, damping system from compression or rebound. So. I did purposely look for some big hits as well, and the fork is definitely lacking in, in rebound control for, for those bigger, bigger hits. So if you use the fork, you know, with what it was designed to excel at, it's gonna be, I think it's gonna be exceptional for that. Um, it's gonna do what I want the fork to do. So it's gonna allow me to ride some of the rougher gravel roads around here um, and enjoy it more, take less abuse on my body, but, it will, you know, it has over two inches of travel, so it will allow me to be a little bit more adventuresome, uh, do some uh, real off-roading with it, and basically go faster downhill on, on some of the rougher, rougher downhill sections to give me more confidence for that sort of thing. So, yeah, check that out. So that is the Lauf. This is the prototype, the gravel travel as it's called. So this isn't actually a consumer ready product. This was a prototype that we managed, me and my buddy managed to get a couple from the company. Um, so it's a bit stiffer. It's supposedly stiffer than the, the mountain bike version that you'll find on their website. Uh, looks like I'm gonna enjoy using it. I still have my original fork that came with this, a really nice carbon fork. So if I ever wanna switch back and forth, between them, uh, I have that, that option and it's pretty simple to switch over. Um, so yeah, I think it's gonna be a great fork for what I wanna use it for. And uh, I should start being able to make some vlogs, uh, riding vlogs with this bike in another, another couple weeks, maybe even sooner if it really warms up and the final remnants of winter snow and ice uh, end up melting on the gravel roads, that uh, awesome gravel roads that we have around here. So yeah, thanks for watching.